Greetings viewers welcome to java charter in this video i want to clarify that the interview questions you are about to hear were actually part of an online test which serve as a prerequisite for the interview this video will be divided into two parts and this is part 1 so make sure to stay tuned for part 2 which will be uploading soon thank you so much for watching and welcome back to java charter channel so question number 1 what will be the output of the following java code so if you look at the code we are creating the character array with size 10 and then there is a loop for loop where it starts with 0 and goes till 9 and increments by 1 and then we are assigning uh, the index of a that is a of i equal to 1 and then we are printing if you notice uh, at line number 8 we are again incrementing i <coughs> with 1 so the output of uh, this program will be 1 1 1 and 1 so loop uh, iterates 5 times actually from 0 to 4 and in each iteration it assigns one to the ith element of an array a and then prints one to the console therefore you get five times one as the output so i have attached the screenshot of uh, eclipse uh, debugging tool so if you look at so uh, uh, at index 0 it assigns once then at index 2 it assigns two similarly uh, at the index 8 it assigns assigns the one so loop uh, runs from 0 to 9 the question number 2 what is the output of the following java code so if you look at the code we have a subclass which extends the superclass and here we are declaring the constructor of subclass with the argument string text and we are assigning the value 2 to, to the i now in the main method we are creating the object of uh, subclass and then we are printing uh, the value of i using the object of subclass what will be the output what do you think guys the answer is no public class found to execute uh, so there is an issue in the code the error we have encountered is due to the fact that java charter super which is the superclass does not have a no argument constructor and when we create an instance of subclass it tries to call the no argument constructor of superclass by default since a uh, superclass only has a parameterized constructor we need to explicitly call it in the constructor of subclass now question number 3 which method can be used to check null on and out optional variable in java 8 see options where is present is nullable is empty or has value the correct answer of this question is in java 8 we can use several methods to check for null on an optional variable optional is designed to help avoid a null pointer exception so it provides a method for self handling of potential null values the correct method to check if an optional variable is null or empty in java 8 is is present so the correct answer is is present this method returns true if the optional contains a non null value and false otherwise it allows you to perform conditional actions based on whether the value is present or not if the value is present you can use methods like get to retrieve the value of safely question number 4 select the correct examples of functional interface so options uh, are java link dot runnable java util dot list java io dot input dot input stream or java util dot compare rater so the correct answer is the function first of all uh, what is functional interface functional interface in java is an interface that has exactly one abstract method often referred to as a single abstract method same so the correct answer are java dot link dot runnable this is a functional interface it has a single abstract method run that takes no argument and returns void you can use it with lambda expressions or method reference <clears throat> the another correct option was java dot util dot comparator this is a functional interface it has a single abstract method compare uh, one and object two of generic for comparing two objects of type generic moving to question number 
which of the following are valid lambda expressions options are string a comma string b uh, the lambda expression system dot out dot print a plus b the second option is um, in the uh, bracket uh, integer i then lambda expression i then uh, method without any signature uh, lambda expression written uh, in the integer i lambda expression i plus plus and then written i so the correct answers uh, are uh, the integer i in the bracket lambda expression i this is a valid lambda expression it takes an integer i as in parameter and returns i as the result the syntax is correct the another correct uh, option uh, is integer i the lambda expression i plus plus and return i this is a valid lambda expression it takes an integer i increments it and then returns the result the syntax is correct please correct me guys if i am wrong because uh, uh, i thought these are the correct answers uh, i couldn't check the uh, properly for this moving to question number six uh, void accept um, tt this is a generic uh, syntax is a method of consumer producer both or none the answer is the method void accept tt is a method of the consumer functional interface in java the consumer interface represents an operation that takes an input of t the type parameter and perform an action on it without re returning any result hence the void return type moving to question number 7 system dot out dot print in list of k k uh, contains all arrays as as list k k what is the output of this statement uh, if it is written in a main method so options were compile time error, run time error, true or false. So the correct answer is true. So if I talk about the explanation, here is why. So list of KK creates an immutable list containing a single element which is the string KK. Now arrays.as list KK creates a mutable list containing a single element which is also the string KK. The contents all method is used to check if the first list contains all the elements of the second list. In this case, the first list contains a KK and the second list contains also KK. So the condition is satisfied and the contents all returns true. Therefore, the output of the statement is true. There are no compile time or runtime errors in this code. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please stay tuned uh, for the part two. I will uploading it soon. Till then, bye bye. Take care.